Hi, welcome to the next video about Esper. In this edition, we're going to look at the devices view in Esper. So when you have a large fleet and you want to deal with individual devices, we make it very easy for you to do so. You can see that this fleet is particularly diverse with devices from ODMs, OEMs, AOSP, GMS devices, many different versions of Android. So this tile view is a nice way to get a very quick look uh, of your devices to see the pertinent information. Uh, you can give it a friendly name in addition to the um, device ID that we use. It shows you last seen, tells you if it's online, whether it's GMS. Also the security risk level, which in this case is outdated uh, patches. And then put these custom tags on it that can be whatever you want that are searchable to make it very easy for you to find the device. The nice thing about this is you can go straight to the details of the device and it shows you rich information about it. Uh, the device information, geolocation, information about the software, about the hardware, and about the network. So it gives you a lot of detailed information about the, the device for you. In addition, you have access to settings. And so these are actions that you can take on the device, you can reboot it, lock it, uh, hit it with a heartbeat command, lock it down, uh, wipe it, or uh, change it to uh, a multi-app or kiosk mode app, depending on how you set up. So this is specifically for kiosk mode. Uh, we give you access to the display so that you can change screen brightness, uh, orientation, screen timeout, just apply it. As you can see, uh, it's very quick to execute to the device. You change the screen brightness there. Um, you can do uh, sound. Now here you can control Wi-Fi and internet and you can push out new Wi-Fi access points to the particular device from here. And you can also handle how location is being done. So it's interesting and it's nice because it tells you uh, when uh, a feature is not available for you uh, with rich information. Um, it also gives you Bluetooth, so you can turn it on and off. You can see the paired devices. You can deal with device time zone, again, telling you whether or not this is supported on the device. And here's where you can do ADB access so that you can turn it on and do a debugging session with it. The event feed is very nice because it shows you the events that have happened. Uh, with the device, so basically giving you a log of who did what when. Uh, the device graph gives you the telemetry that's being delivered uh, uh, from the device. So Wi-Fi signal strength, RAM, battery, um, communication, a rich set of telemetry that can be very useful for debugging real-world problems in the field. And by the way, this is available via API as well. Um, Apps. This is where you can manipulate apps and basically be able to, on the device level, see what apps are preloaded, uh, the Google apps that are there, the enterprise apps that you've uh, installed via the Esper Cloud. You can install new apps from here. Makes it very easy to do so. In addition, you can take particular actions where you can uninstall it, clear the data, set the app state if you wish, show, hide, disable. All available from here. The compliance policy is your ability to um, put a new policy for the settings that are not user accessible and you can push it out to this particular device if you wish. So you can select it from here. Security shows you the security state of the device. In this case bootloader unlocked. So it shows you uh, where your risk is. And then with remote viewer so you can start a remote view session. Very nice. You can go to full screen if you want. So make it very easy for it to work with. Capture screenshot. Okay. Very nice. So let's stop the session. Uh, you can also capture logs too to uh, get a bug report. So you can see that with Esper, uh, we give you very rich access to your devices, but we also let you work with them effectively. So the list view is a very nice one. So here you can see all your devices are available. Uh, from it, you can choose different columns that you like to include. 
uh, policy uh, registered on. We can do serial number. Uh, we can do model. Uh, and we can include text. So basically, we will do that. Boom, exit. And you can see it's totally available for you there. You can choose how many devices you'd like to see per page. Uh, and now they're all available to you. And then the next feature is you can filter. So we'll just do the online devices only. You can see that those go away. And let's say, furthermore, you wanted to find devices that were uh, Android 9 in this case. So it makes it very easy to work with. And then you have the ability to download a CSV or download as Excel. Uh, additionally, for your devices, you can take actions on them from here. So you can ping, reboot, uh, install an app, uninstall an app, or apply a policy. So it makes it very straightforward for you to take action with your devices from the list view. So we will just ping them all. And you can see how it works, where you can view the results. And so these three are queued, and the command was successfully executed to all of them. So very nice view uh, for you there. And then finally, the map view, which is not all that exciting because of work from home. They're all in one place. Bellevue, Washington. So that gave you a, a nice overview of how the Esper device view works. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the view and uh, on to the next video.